Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. And today I'm gonna do my June favorites video because I just posted this outfit on Instagram. If you have not checked out my Instagram account, you should because I will be posting some outfits. I'm getting on board, you guys. I'm gonna try to do at least, I don't know how many, just whenever I feel like it. Please check out my Instagram account. It's S Shamay. That's S S H A M A Y. Because I'm only doing three fashion videos in a week. So I order like more than 12 outfits because three times four is 12, right? So I have more than 12 outfits. So I'm trying to post some additional outfits on Instagram because as some of you have requested, that some things that I show on my channels as I'm picking the, the outfits out. Some things I'm missing and y'all would like to see some of the other things because some of y'all have y'all own choice of what you like in a haul video. So I need to show everything. So I get it and I'm trying to get on board, but I just posted um, an outfit on Instagram. Um, this outfit right here, this is a bodysuit by Shein.com and I have a bodycon skirt. That's all I'm going to tell you. But anyways, you probably already done seen it, but it's so pastel, so beautiful. You guys can't wait to edit it because I haven't edited it yet because I decided to go ahead and take this video. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the June favorites. Some of them are most recent favorites, but I will put the most recent products in July's um, favorites. And y'all probably already know the products because I just did a makeup look on my Shella Beauty Essence video or channel, sorry, Shella Beauty Essence channel, um, actually showing some of the new products by Black Radiance. They will be in my July favorites just because I just got the products and it's almost July. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the products that I've been using in the month of June, and they are my favorites, okay? The first one has to be this one here. Um, it's the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion Natural Glow Enhancer in 903 Medium Glow. This is so good. Like, this goes really well with my medium skin tone. Um, it's wonderful. It's I, I would say that this, this one here and the Believe Beauty uh, Radiantly Primed are really good, like luminizing primers. Both of these are really good, but for the month of June, I gave this a try. Someone had mentioned it to me and told me to try it, and I absolutely love it. And yeah, you guys, it's it's really good. I like it. I love how my skin looks luminous. Like It's like kind of like that luminous look kind of hydrates my skin keeps my skin from looking dry and i really really like this everybody already know about it but i just tried it okay and it's really good the next product i'm just grabbing stuff the next product is the elf hydrating camo concealer uh satin finish i had tried and y'all y'all know one of my favorite concealers is the camo concealer but it was the matte one the the original formula okay i love that concealer but specifically for my eyelids as a primer now this one here the hydrating one i like to use this underneath my eyes i have mine in medium beige and it's like a orangey like it's sort of orange tan color but i feel like that orange color or hue actually helps brighten my under eye and i also use it with another concealer because it is like an orange um sort of like an orange tan color so i do use a peach um concealer with it but y'all this is very nice this doesn't like dry out my under eyes it doesn't really stick out a lot of fine lines and stuff so this one is really really good i knew that the matte version one is good so the hydrating one is just as good i really high highly recommend it for anybody that may be around my age or you have dry under eyes this is really nice so far i don't see a whole lot of lines what i see right now is just perfectly 
normal. Like I'm going to have a few lines. I'm 45 years old, but it's not nothing too crazy because I've tried concealers that lines like absolutely come all the way down and here. It's like really, really messy, but this does not do that. And I really like it. It's actually easy to blend out. It's creamy. It blends into the skin. Very nice ELF. I like that product. Another product, uh, these happen to be skincare products. I guess I'll just save those for last. Let's go ahead and just stay with the makeup zone. Uh, the next thing would be the Profusion Cosmetics Good Brow Day uh, Tinted Brow Gel and the Pencil. Love these. My brows look very natural when I use this. This is like soft brown, but it's like blonde, but they call it soft brown too. So it really looks very natural when I want my brows to look very natural. I did not use it today. I actually used a Wet n Wild um, Brow Kit in Ash Brown, if you're wondering, and I just wanted my brow to look a little bit more uh, bolder and my hair has taken some of the color off on this side so this brow looks lighter than the other one y'all i got to correct that right now like i can't i can't y'all i should be looking at myself before i start a video i don't always do that i used to um that goes to tell you i don't you know i'm not like taping all the time but i just noticed that my brow like my hair has after me creating that um, video on Instagram, my hair on this side, I kind of, you know how you get a little warm when you do those uh, fashion videos, talking about them and everything. And so I probably just sweated it, sweated the powder off just a little bit, but that's okay. You can fix it. So, all right. So that's better to me. Okay. It's not super, super, like my brows are not super like, perfect anyways but y'all i'm sorry to have stopped and but i cannot like when i see something that needs to be fixed i'm gonna fix it okay so that's just me so now i feel better now so all right so anyways the good good brow day uh, tinted brow gel by profusion cosmetics is amazing when i want that natural brow look especially if i go real intense with makeup i like a natural looking brow tinted brow um i guess gel uh, so that nothing looks too overboard like everything's super super like intense i love to use this and this is wonderful product i want to get a shade like this so that when i want a more bolder brow color i'd have a bolder brow using these products like the brow gel actually i'm gonna tell you what this brow gel this brow gel alone right it's brow gel this brow gel alone will fake off or make people think you have more hairs than you normally really do okay so i have thin brow hairs as all of y'all know okay and when i put this on it actually kind of like the brush it kind of just it's a perfect brush to create like little fake brow strokes i'm just saying like for real it really does like it creates little brow hairs like and the formula is a is thick so when you add this on it's gonna look like your hair is thick when it's not as thick so i really like this product it is like top on my list as far as brow products i love it okay hope y'all understood what i was saying but anyways uh the lipstick that i've been wearing a lot for the month of june happens to be the l'oreal uh, color rich shine in 902 dazzling nude i believe is the name of it it's this one here 902 and it's like this nude color but it, it's a great undertone like it's very very pretty y'all have seen this in many other videos but this one is so cute i think it goes with every kind of look that i create that's the thing this is the one lipstick i'm pretty sure all of y'all got a lipstick in your collection you go that you know what i got to find that lipstick it goes with everything that i create because <laughs> it's just that one lipstick y'all understand it's that 
one lipstick that you seem to can't stop using because it seems to go with every look you create. Well, this one happens to be that lipstick of mine that I just always go to. This is my go-to lipstick. It is the L'Oreal Color Rich uh, Shine uh, Dazzling Nude in 902. Um, however, this is like a lipstick and a gloss in one. It's a lipstick, but yet it has it provides a shine, and I like that. So that's my go-to lipstick. I use it all the time, especially in the month of June. I was always grabbing that lipstick and putting it on. All right, the next product that I really like is this BYS eyeshadow palette. It's the Prismatic eyeshadow palette. Y'all know I have told y'all in some videos that I like these because these are the colors that I use to put on my brow bone. If you're wondering about that shimmer, but it's very smooth. Um, I just been loving the glitter shimmer type brow bone color. I just been loving it. I've been into the neon bold eye makeup looks and I've been using this palette like crazy for the month of June because it has all of these shades in here and they are very soft. As you can see, you can see my fingerprints in it. It's like that soft, like putty like um, type of makeup product. So you just put your fingers in it and just glide it on and then you can use your brush to you know like neaten it up or whatnot i really love this palette like i i had it like setting aside brand new for the longest and i said you know what this palette looks so amazing and i'm going to try it and y'all i've been loving this product the one that i use today which will be in my july favorites is uh, the Crystal Palette by BYS. It's the eyeshadow palette here. It looks like this. Look at this packaging. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so pretty. And then you have all these shades. Now, you have some matte shades in there, but I actually use this shade right here, and I use this shade right there on my brow bone. I absolutely love it, you guys. So this palette is similar to the prismatic and it's by the same brand bys cosmetics um i've been using this brand for a long time check out my channel you'll see i have other palettes that i've bought from this brand i do like this brand and i love the nice smooth shimmers that these palettes have in them and they're perfect for anybody that like that glitter like a uh, smooth brow bone look i love it you guys these are like my favorites like no tail i'm telling you not no lie like i'm for real i love it and the next palette is by profusion cosmetics i had a profusion cosmetics haul on my shell of beauty essence in my car vlog and i love profusion cosmetics as well um it's a very inexpensive brand with very nice makeup the eyeshadows blend out really well this is an eyeshadow palette that i've been using non-stop it's the starlet palette i do have the festival palette as well this is absolutely amazing you guys you've got some pressed pigments and you've got some shimmer tone and you have some glitter tones in there too so you have a good bit and you have some matte tones you've got some colors over here for every day your everyday nudes and then you have some pops of color for summer you have this palette like i said before this palette is like a palette that's all year round palette you can use this all year round uh from fall to winter to spring and to summer you've got colors all in here that goes for with every season you know the colors the the most popular colors that everyone wear for those particular seasons is in this palette so this palette i've been using like non-stop i absolutely love it it's so amazing and I love the name Starlet. It's just so pretty and so amazing. Y'all probably have seen my Instagram little post where I've showed what eyeshadow palettes I had used for that particular day. A lot of times it was that Starlet palette. It's so beautiful. Now, skincare really quick like you guys. I've been using this Clinical by Spa Script. What is it? Spa Scriptions. Um, it's a vitamin C serum. It's anti-aging facial serum. Uh, I do like this product. I used it 
But what I noticed is that you use it, you're supposed to use it morning and at night. But what I realized is that my face started to break out. And for the last few days, like I could say three, four days now, yeah, about four days or maybe five, I have not used this product and I noticed that my skin looks so much better. I didn't see the little bumps all over my face. I still see a little bit, but I think this was breaking me out, but I was using it because you know I have the damage area on my cheeks and I have the damage area like sun damage or and also damage from violence, okay? But I ain't getting into that. But I have damage on, like my skin has been damaged on my cheeks and on my forehead. And I was told to use a vitamin C like serum or something at night that will help out with that because it's hard to cover. Like really... Like, I would say mine is not really bad, but it's like mild to slightly moderate, like, uh, skin damage on my cheeks, top of my cheeks and my forehead, especially my forehead, more than my cheeks. I'm kind of straightening out the cheek area a little bit, but I still got to use a good bit of makeup on those areas to cover that skin damage. So I've been using this vitamin C serum just to see if I can get something to protect my skin now that it's hot weather, it's hot outside. I don't need the sun to damage those areas no more, okay, than what it is. And I know that you have to use SPF, and I do. A lot of my foundations has SPF in it, or I use the Revlon Color Stay Prep and Protect, which has 34%, but I'm fixing to get a SPF product that I've seen um, I think, I don't know where I say it, on a, a YouTube ad or something. I'm very interested in trying that and I feel like I'm just going to go ahead and just purchase some good SPF, something that will not uh, hinder my makeup. That's number one. I don't like to have that uh, gray cast underneath my uh, makeup. I think it's terrible. So that's number one. And then another thing, some SPLs do cause my face to turn red. Um, so yeah, I'm very, I'm sort of, I'm sort of sensitive to SPF, but not as bad as I thought it was back in the day. I know what was going on when I was saying that SPF was burning my skin. Now I know what was going on, okay? It was some criminal activity going on in my home where people were tamper, tamp, tampering. Can I say tampering? Okay, tampering with my stuff, okay? Putting things into my actual makeup and stuff. So uh that's some of the that some of the damage came from that. So I know that I need a great SPF and I'm gonna invest in getting a, a good SPF just to use and hopefully it don't give me like this gray cast underneath my makeup. But y'all I recommend everybody please take care of your skin. I don't care who you are take care of your skin. But anyways I did use this in the month of June and I have to say I I think it started to break me out so i'm thinking about taking it back hopefully i can take it back and get my money uh, because it started to break me out okay all right so uh the next product is the lip repair it says uh calf's I think it's called Kef's Lip Repair Night Treatment Lip Balm. Um, this is very nice. If you have like really dry, chapped lips, I've been having this problem. And it might be because my uh, iron has been low. I know that I don't drink as much water, but y'all, I drink. I have every time I get a drink, um, I got I got ice in it. So I do like, I've been eating ice and stuff like that to stay hydrated as well. But still, people say it's still not like drinking water. So I got to get back to drinking more water. And I've been trying to do that, but I need to get back to um, at least, I, I think I have to drink at least six bottles, I think. Yeah, at least six bottles. And I know I can do it because I've done it back in the day, but I got to get back to that. But my lips have been very, very dry. And so it's dry now. Like, I don't know. Like, my lips is so dry. 
but I've been using this lip repair and you are supposed to put it on at night because it's a night treatment and then in the morning you should have soft lips it does work it works out a lot and it had worked out and then I, for some reason my lips got right back dry again you guys so I'm still using it but it works y'all I do like it if your lips isn't so badly chapped I feel like this will be perfect um it's good even if it is severely dry it's good because you do feel some hydration and you might have to just go ahead and buff off the dry skin and then use this that's what I did originally when I bought this and this kept my lips very soft so I'm gonna buff off the dry skin up here on my top it's mainly on the top lip here this area here I'm gonna buff this off real good and then use this in I should be good okay so yeah this is a great lip repair and you can get that at Walmart you guys are very inexpensive so that's my products favorites or for the month of June I really really like those products I would highly recommend them to anybody who may be looking for um, some of these products and all that they're really nice so yeah you guys look forward to july favorites i will have some favorites for july i'm currently using some products that i absolutely adore so yeah so that's it you guys outside of this uh check out my instagram account once again i'm gonna mention that so you all can check it out if you're into or like my or you just want to see what i hauled um in my Shein hauls, what they look like on me, then some of the outfits will be posted on my Instagram account. That's S Shamay. That's S S H A M A Y. I will list everything in the description box, all my social media. Check it out, you guys. So that's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoy this video. If you did, excuse me. If you did, please give it a like subscribe comment and share this video and i will see y'all in my next video and please take care lovelies i love you all and take care of yourself once again be careful out there much love and yeah you guys see y'all in my next video which will be monday okay thank you so much for watching bye-bye